If you're looking for an art activity that's really simple, really effective, and only uses a pencil, then this art activity is right up your street. The reason why I love this art activity so much is that it helps young artists understand one really important factor in art, that everything starts off simple. You see, at the beginning of this art activity, it doesn't look like much, but if you keep going, it will build into something extraordinary and sophisticated. Now, I've been doing this art activity with young artists in schools for years, but the original inspiration came from my favourite artwork by my favourite artist, and his name is Giuseppe Pannoni. He is absolutely worth Googling, but in short, he is an incredible Italian artist who became known for using simple everyday materials to make extraordinary artworks. Now, the artwork that inspired this art activity is beautifully simple. You see, he takes his thumbprint and with a little bit of ink, he pushes it against the wall or a piece of paper, leaving his print behind. And then he looks at those lines that make our thumbprints unique and he continues them on growing them and growing them, repeating and repeating until they end up taking over the entire piece of paper or the wall itself. Sometimes these prints end up swallowing the whole of the art gallery, leaving behind an echo of his original thumbprint. And I think that's beautifully simple, but also beautifully poetic because to me, it talks about our uniqueness, but also our impact on the world and those around us but also about how beautiful the patterns are that you can find in nature. But for our art activity, we're not gonna use our thumb, we're gonna use our hand. Let me show you how. So for this activity, we are going to draw around our hand, which is easier said than done. So let's quickly talk about alien hands. These are caused when you hold your pencil in the writing position. It makes your pencil slip sideways under your hand and gives you that weird alien finger look. So instead, just hold the pencil at the end, take your elbow off the table, and keep the pencil upright. Now that's dealt with, start by drawing around your hand, which can be in any position you like. Once you reach the wrist, join the two sides together so that the hand stands alone. Then, and I said it was simple and I really did mean it, draw around the original drawing nice and close to the original line and try to follow all the lumps and bumps. Then, just keep going until the page is full. And if you make a slightly wonky line, keep it. This is a great thing as it will cause a ripple throughout your drawing, making it look awesome at the end. And of course, when you do reach the end of the paper, you can always just tape on more to continue the drawing. You can experiment. Try drawing the lines inside the hand space. This reminds me of old maps. or maybe collaborate with others and have more than one hand. The process is simple, which means the outcome can be complex. Okay, so before you check out my other videos by following the link below, if this video has been useful to you, then great. Make sure you hit like, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one.